Hello everyone and welcome to our today's Tiflow Market Monitor broadcast. My name is Lesbian Sirogiani and today we will analyze 10 cryptocurrencies with the help of course of the Tiflow Trading Engine, a special tool we have developed for the TradingView platform. As you can see, here is our TradingView profile. You can follow us for more updates and ideas. And by clicking tiflow.ai, you can visit our official site on the section services, trading engine. Here you can learn more about how to access the trading engine as it is available directly from our site and uh, how you can purchase access packages with Tiflow tokens over here. So let's keep moving on with our today's report. Today's market cap is about $1.2 trillion, while the 24-hour volume is about $35.93 billion. Pretty stable, the dominance of Bitcoin, 48.6%. And nothing significantly changed as well for the fear and greed index. We are fluctuating on the 57% on the neutral zone. We observe a decrease on the total market cap by 1.25%, as you can see. And according to the last 24 hour gainers, we can see that stable coins ranked first. Let's keep moving on with the altcoin season index, click month, and we are pretty stable according to yesterday's report by 73%. This tool keeps fluctuating close to the high of the altcoin month area. And Bitcoin Cash keeps continuing to be first according to the top 50 performance over the last month. So let's start with our today's report with Bitcoin chart. As you can see, the price of Bitcoin faces some pressure over here from sellers and the price dropped below the 50 SMMA line. If this decrease is going to continue, we may see a further drop close to the 200 SMMA line in the near future. We are on the Ethereum chart. We close our previous long position with a small gain of 1.7%, and now we are in a short mode. The price tries to stay above the 50 SMMA line, but we may see a further decrease in the near future in accordance to what the price of Bitcoin is going to do. We observe a conflict between bullish and bearish signals for the price of Binance coin. Currently, we are in short mode and the price fluctuates below the 50 SMMA line. As I told you, it is very likely to see the price drop close to the previous support areas once again. We closed our previous long position on XRP with a gain of 55.71% and currently we are in a short mode as the price moves sideways. So we are staying short uh, for the price of XRP for the moment and waiting to see how the price is going to play. Let's keep moving on with Atom's price. As you can see, Atom uh, is currently in a short mode and the price fluctuates below the 50 SMMA line, close to the strong trading area of the BPVR profile. The price drops in a corrective way and if the price fails to hold this trading area over here, we may see a further decrease in the near future. We are currently in a short mode for Matic as well, as the price fails to hold the 200 SMMA line. Actually, the price tries to counter the 50 SMMA line for the moment and currently our short position is gaining a 4.01% for the moment. We are staying short for Matic. Let's see what's happening with Dogecoin. We closed our previous long position with a gain of 5.48% and the price fluctuates on the 200 SMMA line for the moment. So we observe this area and uh, waiting for updates from the trading engine algorithm as we may face uh, some pressure from buyers. The price of FTM keeps fluctuating close to the previous bottom. As you can see, we are currently in a long mode for the moment, but we have no uh, the rebound yet. The price is located uh, close to the bottom of the VPVR profile as well. But despite this fact, we observe a flat channel for the moment. Let's see what's happening with the price of VeChain. VeChain is currently in a long mode we may see a further increase from these areas over here as the price fluctuates above the 200 SMMA lines. But first of all, we have uh, to give uh, this chart some time. Let's end up our today's report with Solana token. 
as you can see solana is still in a long mode according to the trading engine but we have a decrease on the total profit so that's why i told you yesterday to secure your profits uh, or take some of them this long position is currently running with 37.07 uh, percent for the moment so you can take some of your profits uh, secure your position and waiting for more updates for this chart so that's all for today's report thank you very much and i will see you next time